guys, it's Brandon Miniman from PocketNow.com, and this is a tour of G-Scroll version 2.0 from Mobile SRC Software. Now, if you remember, the first version of this software brought a lot of extended functionality to the capacitive touch area on the bottom of the HTC Touch Pro and Touch Diamond. Uh, before, the only other way that you could use this area was when you were viewing a picture, you could run your finger around the outside of the D-pad and zoom in a little bit. But now, with G-Scroll, you can actually use this area for a lot more than that, including launching programs, launching... Uh, um, moving around like a D-pad and other things that, that we're going to go through now. So version 2.0 adds a lot of extended functionality from version 1.0. And so the first piece of functionality has been there since the beginning. It's the ability to swipe your finger along the left of the D-pad and actually move the cursor around on the screen. So you can see I'm swiping the left, I go to the left, I go down, and it'll go down to the right. And this also works in Opera or Internet Explorer, so it's a really easy way to scroll down a page with a very high level of, of precision uh, versus using the D-pad by like pressing it downwards and it's kind of notchy that way and it's not very quick and easy. Now something else that has been added is the ability to launch a ton of different programs with a ton of different key combinations. So watch this. If I tap on the uh, center of the D-pad gently two times, I will open Teeter. If I do it once, I get the list of commands. If I do it twice, it will launch Teeter. And there it is. Now, let me go back to that screen. You saw something else underneath it there. Internet Explorer. Three taps, and it will open Internet Explorer. Oops, I must have done it two taps. Let me do it again. One, two, three, and here we go. Internet Explorer. And like I said, you can scroll down with the, uh, the capacitive zoom area. Now, you can program all of these key combinations to open any program on your device. So you could have, you know, two taps on this button to open messaging or a tap here and a tap here to open, you know, uh, Word Mobile or something like that. There's a program that I want to show you in here called the App Switcher and it's super cool. It reminds me of the, the carousel on SBB Mobile Shell 3. So I do the home button two times to get to that and watch what happens. So now I can flick between my open programs or I can use actually the capacitive area to flick between my programs and what you're seeing now is little screenshots of all of the programs that are running right now and it kind of acts as a task manager so I can close Internet Explorer by tapping on this and then I can go to the next one and I say oh I want to get to programs so I tap on programs and it expands to fill the screen. Really really cool functionality that helps you really visualize the applications that you have open and allows you to switch between them and of course you can get there pretty easily by doing a double tap on the home button or however you have it set up and let me show you exactly how you set that up so I'm going to go into the settings for G-Scroll which has been improved before it was kind of archaic and difficult to know um, exactly what each function does okay so the first thing that you will notice about this screen is that on the right of all of these commands, there's a help button. And before, it, there were some commands here, and you were wondering, what is precision mode? Well, if you tap on help for precision mode, it will give you a description. So this is much improved. And what the precision mode lets you do is stipulate the functionality of the, the touch sensitivity of the up and down D-pad action when you're moving through icons or moving through a web page. So that's a good addition. Um, see what else we have here. Um, we have enable upper scroll mode so that it'll work in upper mobile. And here's that screen that lets you specify all of the key combinations that op open certain programs. So let me demonstrate how you add a new one. So I'm going to go to add launch. And let's say I want to have a program open if I press the home button followed by the center D-pad area. So tap, tap. And I want it to open, let's say, um, calculator. So I click accept and I accept again and now if I tap home and then center it will open calculator just like that. So the combinations are pretty much endless in, in terms of the ability to customize this to launch a variety of programs. Really well done on the, de the part of the, the developer although something that kind of bugs me is that the programs get cut off here. I would like to be able to see exactly the whole path of the, of the, the launch action that I've specified here. Going over to the right, we have App Switcher, and that's the thing that you saw earlier that lets you flip through all the open applications that you have. And you can specify if there's a fade in and out, or if there's an animation when you're done finding the app application that you want. And Per Process tab lets you specify certain behaviors per process. So if you want one particular program not to use uh, the G-Scroll function, you could turn that off and just add it to the list here. 
So that's pretty much it for G-Scroll. There are a lot of ways to customize this application, which is one of the best parts about it. It's going to cost $7, which is really, really reasonable, considering that a lot of Windows Mobile software is $20 or $30. Um, for people that have G-Scroll 1.0, the upgrade will be $5 or $4 um, when this is released. And by the time you watch this video, G-Scroll will have already been released. The only thing that I would really like to see in the next version of G-Scroll is a cleaned up interface. If we go over to the main tab, it's still kind of uh, ugly looking and difficult to see and understand. And um, especially if you go to the launch tab, you, you can't even see the program that is going to be launched by a certain key combination. So maybe an elegant, more ele elegant interface for the next version of G-Scroll would be great. But there are a lot of improvements to this simple utility um, that help you take advantage of your uh, the capacitive touch area on the HTC Touch a Diamond and Touch Pro. That's it for now.